He will try to maximize what is a three-inch edge in reach. All right, now to get you primed for the future of Prelim, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 13 wins, four losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Athens, Greece, Andreas the Spartan, Mihalina! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record, three wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Connecticut, by way of Sao Bernardo do Campo, Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the former glory kickboxing champion, Alex Poetan Pereira! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata is our referee for this one. He will also handle the main event between Kamara Usman and Colby Covington. Red De La Cruz is here. Brittany, Luciana, and Brooklyn all octagon side tonight for the UFC debut of Alex Pereira. All right, you ready, sir? You He's ready, been all sir? in on MMA Let's for the go, last go. 18 months under the guise of Glover Teixeira in Connecticut. This fight clock brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. Mihai Lidis in black. Pereira is in white. I cannot overstate how excited I am for the debut of Alex Pereira. You want to talk about a guy with ridiculous power. Mm -hmm. That's Alex Pereira. And how often does a guy be the last guy in on the big card on ESPN? The feature bout, right. and he's got four fights. Yeah. Four MMA fights. For sure. That's what a scary kickboxer Alex Pereira is. Perhaps the most feared kickboxer on earth. You know, the honest, the truth is, for Pereira, he has a bit of a head start. If he can capitalize on all the hype and the wins over Izzy in the kickboxing, it won't take him long. But he's got to show that he can defend, and he's got to show that he can compete in all facets of mixed martial arts. That's what Israel Adesanya did as a kickboxer better than anyone we've ever seen before. He is truly well-rounded. And for Mihalidis, this is an excellent opening for this fight. Yeah, great Look at this. Push. Gets the fight to the ground. He's got a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Didn't take any damage on the feet. If he can tie these legs up and so move smart. to a dominant position, excellent. So excellent smart. for Mihalidis. So smart for Miguel because a lot of times people's ego takes over and you want to show that I can stand with the striker, why? Go and take him down and make him wrestle. Andreas is making him carry his weight now. One of the beautiful things about this sport is the fact that you can shut down a man's game with yours. Yes. You can impose your strategy on him. And look, you're seeing this. Alex Pereira, the devastating striker, having to fight a guy who's a superior grappler. Pereira's got to get his right hand back inside and get two hands on the wrist like a baseball bat. And then he can start to try to get back to his feet. But Mihalidis is in an amazing position early in the first round. One hook in on the back. Mihalidis is doing exactly what he needed to do. He's got the wrist controlled on the far side. He's got a two-on-one. He took that hook out so he's not just hanging on and trying to make himself... That's one of the most tiring things you can do is when you, a guy stands with you, you keep a body triangle or you try to keep a hook in whenever you're holding your own weight up. I mean, Alidas took it out, and now he's just dragging and wearing on it. Pereira back up to his feet now. Let's see if he can manage to separate and create space. Pereira, who has been training with Glover Teixeira, and I've been crediting oh. part of the training with Glover that's one of the reasons why Glover has made this resurgence. Yes. Because he's been in the gym day to day with one of the best kickboxers on earth. Great job there by Pereira. Attacking the wrist and clearing. But Mihal Lidis is doing a good job of keeping that underhook and winning the head position. And more importantly, he's forcing Alex Pereira to fight his fight. He's forcing him to grapple and possibly taking some steam out of that engine. 
Well, make your next UFC experience one to remember. Enjoy exclusive access with the UFC VIP experience, including events like UFC 269 and UFC 270. Official ticket packages feature premium seats and VIP weigh-in access, plus meet and greets with UFC stars. Visit UFCVIP.com to learn more. Now Pereira is doing a good job of trying to redig the underhook. Then he can start to escape. Now, honestly, for me, hell, it's can he do this? Because he's a striker himself. Yes. How much will this wear on him in his arm? Interesting the big oh, damage side of the What happened to his eye? It looks like he got a big old bruise on his left eye. Mikhail Lee is immediately able to close the distance, getting away with a fence grab here. But he's got him again. He's got the clinch. Not a grappling crowd per se. No, it, I mean, we're just starting. <laughs> we're just starting there, boy, because Mihal Lidas is fighting the fight that he needs to fight in order to beat one of the greatest kickboxers we've ever seen in the UFC. I mean, maybe these people are Alex Pereira fans, <laughs> and they want to see him do his thing, but Mihal Lidas is fighting a brilliant fight so far. It's what you have to do. He's got his fingers... Mialidis has put his fingers in the fence like three times now. He's trying to do it away from the official. Well, Mikhailidis doing his best to neutralize Alex Pereira in round one. Round two. Coming up next. Breathe, breathe in there. Yeah, right here, sit down. Sit down there. 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 Sit Andres, breathe deep. Pay attention. Breathe. Now he's going to be afraid of your takedown too. So now you can use that all the you know the spinning kick and everything. His speed. Breathe. Breathe. A little more. All right, back live at the Garden. The UFC 268 prelims are presented by Modelo. So a productive first round for Andreas Mikhailidis, who seemed exhausted on the stool yep. after round one. We're trying right, to figure out what fight, caused John. that extreme bruising on his left cheek. And we'll see if the uh, production truck can isolate that. But it's a nasty welt on his left cheek. And John, honestly, that's what I was speaking to with all the clinch and the grab. Oh! That dude's made out of mahogany. <laughs> if you touch him, he feels like wood. He barely he hits so hard. <laughs> Effortless, though, Joe. He just, I'm telling you, that's what this guy does to everybody. He does that to world class kickboxers. It's like he's built different or something. He hits them with short shots and they go flying. This is what this man has been doing his entire kickboxing career. And there's the embrace from the newly minted UFC light heavyweight champion Glover Teixeira. The power pack in Alex Pereira. It's a different kind of power, man. Oh, oh I mean, my God. He just starches people and so calm about it. He tried to walk off, but Big Dan made Mihalidis take some extra punishment oh that maybe goodness. he didn't need to take. When Alex Pereira connects, most people go night-night. And he's been used to doing this with big gloves on. Oh, my God. When you get when you get caught with a knee by this guy or a kick, now, but now he gets to use elbows as well, which he couldn't use in glory. Ferocious man. That was nasty. That was exactly what he needed. And Jumping the reaction knee. from Glover. The champ, John the champ, over to share. And for Alex Pereira, in a lot of respects, you couldn't have drawn it up much better, right? You get challenged in round one, you have to grapple a little bit, and then you tune him up in round two. <laughs> Six consecutive knockouts here at UFC 268. Wow. A lot of competition for bonus money, and by the way, the best is yet to come on pay-per-view. It is now time for the official decision. It is brought to you by Zip Recruiter. To make this one official, Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO!